This is my S24 Ultra and I want to show you something cool that will launch with the S25 Ultra. Now, before I show you the cool stuff guys, now a brief explanation. Here I do have my timer, right? it's a stopwatch and by the way this is yeah the so called now bar and it's a kind of a cool concept guys because those things can appear on your always on display but also on your lock screen and you are able to cycle through them, control your music, get various stuff done, reminders, all of that. Right now there isn't a lot of integration but it works with the clock also with the voice recorders. Right now it's not yet integrated with all the apps, but it does work with the timer. It does also work with the uh, voice recorder here. So now you can see if I just do like this, guys, I'm gonna be able to juggle them. And guys, what is the new thing I wanna show you? Now something that probably will hit the shelves in a few days with the S25 Ultra and the S25 series is this thing here. Automate the everyday with routines for various situations. Reminder in now brief. And now with this new routine that is gonna hit the S25 series, we should be able to set reminders uh, and get them via the now brief. So we have app management fee, card payment, plants watering, doctor appointment, parking day system, exercising, car fueling, charging, and contacts for greeting. How does this thing work, guys? Let me just show. So let's say that I need to exercise every day. So I'm just gonna go here set it and I can just put a reminder now brief uh, title here and there is also an action label and what I kind of like is that it will scrap your apps and find apps that are suitable so let's say for exercising sorry detecting the ultra human and the Samsung held monitor I do wear my airing still so this kind of makes sense so you can select an app and save it or if you go to card payments and you click the action label it's going to open you know your finance things it's finance for me and google wallet and it makes sense really so let me show you all something interesting guys if we go to routines and we go to the history we can see that i try running those routines to just show you if those things work so right now it's 9 55 so let's say this routine already ran i can go here and just change it to 9 56 so potentially try to show you if you're gonna get something in now brief and yeah fun fact I tested it still doesn't work which kind of makes sense because this is not really something that you get out of the box right now for the s24 series but I'm gonna show you also how you can activate this if you want to play with this now just let's wait a bit and let's see if we're gonna get another routine popping now again we will not but you can see how powerful this can be and also useful also for every routine besides adding the time right and the day you can also in insert now brief template now this thing apparently doesn't work but imagine if this thing would have worked then i should, probably should be able to kind of like customize the alert that i'm going to be getting now three more seconds to 56 are we going to get something yeah no no because again i just tested this but you pretty much see the idea that this is going to be really helpful and this perfectly ties in with all the new things that samsung want to emphasize and push on and yeah for everybody out there it's kind of really clear that they just want to push AI and this is going to be I guess on the forefront of the device. Cameras probably not so much because a lot of the cameras are going to be the same. Yeah, fun fact, all of the cameras probably going to be the same, maybe with just some minor updates, but we're going to be like getting a supercharged version of the AI that we have already now and the Galaxy AI isn't that bad. Actually, it is probably one of the best I've tested and I compare this also with the Chinese phones. You can really do already a lot of things with Galaxy AI. So now, how can we activate this mode, guys? So you need to run an app called System Tuner, right? I do use this quite often also with the Activity Launcher. When you go down, guys, go on the lock screen, and when you go on the lock screen, click on the shortcuts. This will allow you to change the shortcuts that we have on the lock screen. Here, usually I have like the phone and then the camera. So let's say you want to change the phone one, click here. Then here, you should be able to just search for more than routines. Once you get there, guys, you need to search again. Then you need to hit this activity here. It's modern routines, debug mode, main debug mode activity. When you select this, like I'm gonna do right now, all right, press okay. Yeah, when I go on my lock screen, we're going to have this thing here. And accessing this will give you a lot of debug options now. I was not able to test all of them. This thing here in particular is the enable AI brief reminder action. And when you enable these guys, and then you just go straight to your settings to mode and routines, and then go to discover, you're gonna be able to see this. Also, when you click here, guys, there is gonna be this debug mode. You can also try to access it from here, by the way, the first time only from the shortcut. And now every time you can just go and hit the hamburger menu, access it from here. Guys, 
If you have time, please test those things out. It might be that there are some quite useful features and let me know what you think down below in the comments. And then again, we are uncovering bits and pieces of what the S25 series uh, is gonna be. Let's hope that it's gonna be a good one. Right now, I'm just trying to manage my expectations so that I don't really get disappointed. Anyway, thanks for watching VST, stay safe, over.